ILMX Lab is the immersive entertainment division of Lucasfilm, and we're responsible for all the things in uh, virtual reality and augmented reality and other kinds of immersive entertainment. And we're here at Sundance showing an installation of what immersive entertainment might look like in the future. So when you walk into this space, the environment we put you in, which is uh, on the desert of Jakku, is completely surrounding you and enveloping you. And it, we call it the hollow cinema because really the, the characters in the environment come off the walls and into the space like a hologram would. Our installation here at Sundance really um, mimics augmented reality more than just virtual reality. And by that we mean you're actually seeing the real world, you're seeing the people around you, and then we're adding um, a synthetic world to that world. So the way the installation works is um, the person who's going to be immersed in the experience just puts on these little lightweight glasses, and they're actually active shutter glasses that allow us to put 3D images in there. And then we project 3D pixels with lots of projectors all on all the walls and the floor. So what that lets us do with our system is create our 3D environment and put it into the room with you. So when, when you look at those walls, if you look at them without the glasses, of course, you just see the projection on the walls and you see a little bit of a double image. Once you put those glasses on and walk into that space, we know exactly where you are. We can make the perspective correct. So it feels completely immersive and the walls kind of disappear and all of a sudden you kind of feel like you're standing on Jakku. And then when C3PO or BB-8 walk right up to you, it kind of feels like they're standing right in front of you. So it's quite immersive. Oh my goodness! Could you imagine a future where you have relatively lightweight glasses like this, but it has the kind of electronics in it that would allow us to project computer graphics into your eyes and be just as immersive as this entire installation that we just created. So in some ways we're trying to guess at what's going to be happening three years or five years down the line and what are the sort of opportunities. To date we've seen augmented reality glasses and things that that show some promise, that kind of point the direction, but they have pretty significant limitations, whether it's field of view or even just the fidelity of the images that we can project into your eye and make you believe what, uh, what's there. Um, one of the reasons we designed this installation here at Sundance was because we wanted to show um, what it could look like if you take it up to a very high level of fidelity. So we're creating new technology to be able to do that with the graphics, and we're using very high resolution projectors here provided by Barco, who did a great job getting us a nice high fidelity projection. There's a few different ways that we think we can leverage this kind of immersive experience, and one of them is as a filmmaker tool. Um, we had Gareth Edwards, for example, in our hollow cinema um, not that long ago, actually, as he was prepping for his film. And we were able to load up sets that the art department was sketching out in 3D, load sets into there and have him actually walk around the virtual version of his set before we went to the trouble and expense and time of building his sets in full scale, of course. So he was able to get in there, um, use a virtual camera in there to kind of frame up, test frame up his shots. One of the great things about having um, a hollow cinema space like this where you can be completely immersed is that you can actually create in this space. Back at the lab, we often actually do set dressing and other kind of work actually in this immersive experience. So if you just want to grab a tree and move it from one location to another, we actually have a tool where you can reach in and grab it. Another thing that is a little harder to demonstrate here because of the limited space, uh, but we do all the time back at Industrial Light Magic, is we'll have live performers performing for these characters right alongside the hollow cinema. So you can walk into the space and have a actor perform live and improvise either with other people or people with the glasses on or with other actors. And you can actually look at that in 360 degrees. So in this way, it's, it's a great place to prototype and experiment. ILMX Lab is made up of the story group at Lucasfilm, and that's the team actually working on the stories for the films going forward. And Industrial Light and Magic, which is world-class visual effects and computer graphics, and Skywalker Sound, so you actually got to hear a little bit of Skywalker Sound's work in that installation across the street. For Star Wars specifically, we are actively working on immersive experiences for Star Wars, and you should definitely keep an eye on this space because we have some pretty exciting things coming out You know, as the hardware becomes available, as the um, consumers have ability to bring the stuff into the home. Uh, we want to be there with, with our experiments and with full experiences as soon as, the, uh, as soon as it makes sense. We think looking out into the future, looking past the adoption of virtual reality, we think augmented reality could even potentially be bigger because there's something great about having a social experience, being able to see the person standing next to you and experience something um, where we can create a new world or place you in a new world at the same time. And we're very excited about that future. Nice to see a familiar.